I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. Yes, I am, yes, I am, yes, I am. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. I got all the answers to your questions. I'll be the teacher, you could be the lesson. I'll be the preacher. You Hello, this is confession. Clifton Blanchett with Clifton the Blanchett the Outdoors. What we're doing now is that we're at a new lake about to go out and fish off the bank. And what I want to do is to show a lot of you anglers what to look for when you go out to fish on a uh, particular body of water. And uh, you're going to fish from the bank or either from the boat. If you look out here, you see that the water is moving in the direction to your left and uh, the wind is blowing in that direction with a little bit of a chop on the water. Now, when you get ready to figure out where am I going to go fishing, you then look and say, okay, the food in the water is being pushed to the left by the, by the wind as the wind blows. As you can see, there's chop on the water there the wind is blowing to my left so all the food is being all your plantains uh, are being pushed to the left and hello this is Clifton Blanchett with Clifton Blanchett Outdoors uh, what I've just finished explaining to you about the wind movement uh, let me just break it down the food chain for you real quick in the water you have plantains and plantains in a lot of cases are are very small and we don't really notice them and that's what the bait fish eats you know your algae things of that nature uh, and that's what your bait fish are going to feed off of. And then your bass, your game fish, your crappie, your bluegill, those fish are going to feed off the bait fish. So wherever the plantains are being pushed, which is easily moved by the wind or by the current, then so goes the bait fish, and so will the game fish that's in search of the bait fish. So understanding the food chain is very critical to understanding how to catch fish. Also, it's very critical to understand what are you going to try to catch fish with and understanding the time of season and the time of year. Today, we're out here at uh, Village Creek State Park, right outside of, of uh, Forest City, Arkansas. And we're going to go out and catch some bass late in the afternoon. A lot of you all are going to get off from work and want to go out and catch some fish. And what we're going to do today, I'm going to show you how to do that. So stay tuned. Right now, we're going to move to the other side where the current is moving and, the, and bringing the plaintiffs in and where the bait fish should be and also where the bass and the crappie should be as well and the bluegill. We're going to try for a couple of those species this afternoon and hopefully we'll be able to get back to you and show you them in, in live and living color. All right, stay tuned. As I was telling you guys a little bit while ago that uh, you can get out of here and find out where the fish are. We found the fish. We got a nice stringer here. Look at that stringer there. And these are all bluegill that we caught on crickets out here at uh, Village Creek Lake. And uh, we had a great day. So these are the kind of fish you guys can get into at any point in time. Just get out here and uh, enjoy yourself on a Memorial Day and catch yourself a nice stringer. We're going to go home and put these in the grease and uh, enjoy them. Take care. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man Well, you can tell everybody